Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm comparing RSS readers. Now, what is RSS? RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. Now, to explain it more simply, if you go on like practically any website, not all websites do it, but most websites, you'll find that you see an icon that looks like this. Now, what you can do is then subscribe to the page that you're viewing and it will update you on anything that will anything that's changed on the page. So if I click this, it says subscribe to this feed using and it just says the application and then it has a big title and then it shows you several links to the page um, the links to and then a piece of general information underneath so it's more like a news headline that comes to your desktop or whichever and tells you a little bit about it and then it says turn to page and then it will go onto the page so now I understand some people use uh, things like Google Reader and um, iGoogle to go onto their pages um, so it displays it online in their browser and some people use the um, inbuilt uh, bookmarks uh, thing that's built into Firefox but I've removed that. Uh, this is um, Some people also use Outlook, Microsoft Office Outlook because that does um, RSS feeds as well but I'm just going to be talking about readers, desktop readers uh, for the time being and the advantage of having these is that you can have pop-ups in the corner of when things have been updated and alerts and things like that but what I've got here is a um, an OPML file now there used to be a website called share your OPML but apparently it's been taken down due to not being able to afford to keep them up um, the guy who said is retired from it so um, some of these things say that they can update themselves from this share OPML site but it's down so what I've done is I've taken the first one feed reader and it's got an internal collection of RSS feeds from various websites that is put together and what I've done is exported it into an OPML file now um, you can import these in practically all the read readers these should all import them if they're any good um, and then you can just have the same RSS feeds in different things so um, this, I'm, this time I'm using the feed reader internal so I'm going to start feed reader and you'll notice that the box is fairly simple I'm not going to modify anything or change anything I'm just going to show you uh, what it looks like just as I'm looking at it because um, you see I've got like buttons like changing panes and things like that I'm just going to use the default view and here, here it looks like the default view um, you can increase and decrease the text size what I'm going to do now is import the OPML so this should obviously work because it was done by FeedReader in the first place I'm going to say next and then select all so it selects them all and puts them into my feeds here now I think I need to manually synchronize these. I don't know if they'll do it automatically, so I have to go to Tools, Synchronize, Synchronize. Hopefully it will start going. There we go. So it's now retrieving from loads of different websites, the street.com. I'll just show you what they look like. This is what the RSS feed looks like. It's just a group of headlines here. And as I said, I'm not going to change any options, so I'm going to click on one randomly, Asia Stocks, and you can see it's got the um, title of it, it's got the details of it, when it was when it was made even, um, email address, uh, keywords and a little piece of information on the thing and then you can click this and it'll go onto the web page whatsoever. So there's so many things here and you can see it's doing it fairly quickly obviously depending on your internet connection so that was feed reader that supports pop-ups I believe because I've used it, I used it before so um, these three I haven't used before so I'm going to treat it as if I've seen them for the first time these two I've used before and this one I use regularly so this is RSS OWL uh, now I'm going to import the OPML file again okay so now we have them all here now I think I have to select them all or there might be an option to synchronize I'm not sure where it is <laughs> um, bear with me search for news feeds no tools, validate news feeds, unless it does it automatically, I'm not sure. Uh, it says ready here and it says the date, but I can't see if an option to... Right, uh, oh, reload favourites, so I suppose if I just do that on all of them. And it's got them already it looks like so ah, here we go so it's now uploading it's now showing me some information on each one now if I open it you can see we've got blog spotting here and we've got all the exactly the same thing as um, it show in 
side feed reader. So you can see all the headlines here, then you look down here and it says when to talk back, and it says the link to it, and it says a description on it. So this is quite good. It uh, doesn't seem to be as easy to use as you notice. Um, I think I might have used a different version, but this is the um, official version. So that was RSSL. Now next is Omia, Omia Reader. Now this is the first time I've used it, so I'm just going to do the default. It's chugging away, it's opened up a thing in the corner. RSSL and Feed Reader both opened up in the corner as well. Uh, oh dear. Um, import subscriptions from OPML files. Files to import, add file, desktop, Feed Reader. Next. Import, no, don't want to import favorites or anything. Next. User information, no, <laughs> go away. Right, whoa. That's opened up a huge box here. Um, I think it's just asked me about news groups, so it looks like it also does Usenet. Oh, go away. Um, it also does Usenet, and you can see it's quite <laughs> involved. So, uh, where is it? So it's got news groups here, so that if you don't know what Usenet is, then just search for my name. Uh, feeds, here we go, feeds. So you can see it's updated everything. Uh, this looks a bit different. You can see it's got... You can see it's got little icons for each of the websites, which is quite good. So you've got BBC here. It looks like it's grouped them all together in two days, and uh, I suppose you can, there we go, you can go into the different categories here. So, as you can see, I like this because it's showing me uh, different icons for each of them, which is quite cool. So, it looks like it must retrieve it from their uh, site or something. So, that's a good feature of uh, JetBrains Omiya Reader, so that's that. Oh, Awazu, Awasu, so I'm not sure, this is the first time I've opened it. Uh, it's got like a little wallpaper sort of thing there. Now you'll probably want to create some channel subscriptions. Would you like to browse the installed? No. I'm going to import... Uh, it's saying about upgrading in the corner. Uh, I need to import a... OPML file. I can't see... Import from. Aha. OPML file. Here we go. Desktop. Reader. Okay. Now it looks like it's already put some in there, but I need to select all and put these in there so you can see. Quick subscribe or by chance channel and using your default settings that's okay so now it's, it's imported loads of addresses this is seems to have frozen a little bit and it's saying upgrade a wazoo and the whole lot's frozen <laughs> uh, it might just be because it's working away and because I've clicked off or something it says if you find a wazoo useful and would like to help support development please click here to find out the benefits of purchasing the advanced or so it's a bit of kind of a nag screen here um, we've got a frozen box here Are we going to do anything? No? Give it some time, might do something. Um, Awazu, yeah, I've never opened this before. I don't think this does um, news groups like the other one does. I may have to move this out of the way and start another one. Okay, well, while that's working away, I'm going to start RSS Bandit. So let's come up with this thing here. This might do news groups as well, which is using it. Okay, so it's trying to load. Here we go. We've got feed subscriptions here, feed details here, loading a feed list, which um, must be their pre-done ones. <laughs> Looks like this one's frozen off a little bit as well. There we go. RSS Bandit is not currently set as your default. No, a lot of these seem to want to do that. So it's got all the inbuilt ones. So if I can delete these, I think I have to delete them manually. Oh well. If we can import our file, import feeds. Browse, desktop, feed reader, internal, OPML. And where are they? <laughs> Special folders? No. It doesn't appear to have found my file, my OPML file, to open it. Perhaps I've selected something wrong, I'm not sure. Okay, well, we'll just use the RSS Bandit inbuilt ones. And as you notice, um, this. Uh, a wazoo just importing my OPML file is frozen it up completely. It's still not done anything. And you can see this is now updated. And it's uh, got them as um, envelopes this time. And so you click on it and it says, oh, it says it in quite a nice format actually. If I expand this a little bit, it says it like a um, page. So it's just posted in, adds a delicious stumble it, dig it. So my whole desktop's gone a bit strange, so um, anyway, this is what it looks like. Thanks for watching my video. If you know of any new programs, let me know, and thanks for watching again.